Greetings, friends. I am Obsidian. Just recently, Chasing Skylar gave me an exclusive leak of the video for his first ever episode of Skibidi Genesis, and boy do we get quite the treat in this. We have everything from action to plenty of scenery where my speaker buddies join me on a mission. But before we get into today's video, make sure you subscribe to me so you don't miss any future analysis or theory videos. Also give my video a like, as it will help me out greatly, and it would be appreciated. It would also let me know if you'd like to see more of this series on the channel. Are you ready? Because I know I am. Let's begin. The scene begins, and we appear to be in what looks like a forest area, with a building in the background of the scene. I wonder what this building is exactly. Maybe we will find out more in the coming episodes, and why I and the other speakermen are here. The scene cuts, and we now are being taken through the trees, and there we see myself and the other speaker men jumping from tree to tree to get to where we need to be. I must say that we certainly have the moves, don't we, friends? We glide through the forest with ease with no issues whatsoever, and it's so epic to see how we travel in action. The scene changes once again, and we see me jump onto a rock with quite the thud behind it, but I soon stand up, where I am joined by my three other mission companions, including the beautiful Diamond Speaker Woman. Before I go on to analyze the rest of the episode, I shall talk about the other speaker men who are in this scene. First off to the left we have Silver Speaker Man, who has some pretty epic weapons on his wrists to no doubt slash those skybiddy toilets. They really do remind me of Wolverine's claws a little, but they also remind me of the claws that both Titan TV Man has in his base form and upgraded form, protruding behind his shoulders. I remember him using those claws effectively in episode 46 of the original series, but he has yet to use them now. But maybe this is a sign, maybe Silver Speakerman has a closer relationship to the TV race as I do with the clock race, but I am not so sure, as I usually like to keep to myself, but it is something to think about. Anyway, next we have Gold Speakerman, we've already seen him in a previous leak on this channel, but bro sure is the cool looking laid back badass who can really wield a katana very well, and is quite the hit with the ladies it seems. I wouldn't be surprised though, that color yellow is such a cool color for him. I still wonder how he got such a color. The only other alliance that uses the color yellow are the ski beady toilets. But I assure you that my buddy is not infected, nor is he a traitor working with the toilets. The same color representation is just a coincidence, nothing more. Besides, he is the gold speakerman, and he shines bright compared to these pathetic ski beady toilets. After chasing Skylar had posted gold speakerman's recent leak, the dude has been flooded by the ladies wanting his attention, but sadly, you will have to hold off on that since he's a very busy man who's always on missions. The third and final one I bring to your attention is the incredible and ever so beautiful Diamond Speaker Woman, who is the light of my life and one of the most badasses when she fights. As you can see for her, she has the Spear of Longinus, which you would not want to be pierced by. Diamond Speaker Woman also has knife stilettos, so she is always prepared in combat whenever she is needed. We already talked about most of these points in the first Skibidi Genesis leak type video, also showing her, and the one with her and Gold Speaker Bro. Now back to the analysis. The team looks ahead, wondering what they are about to do, when I retrieve my tablet to look at it. On the tablet, it reads, Objective, destroy Skibidi secret weapon. The fate of this war lies in you and your team's hands. Good luck. I wonder who sent that message and why specifically we were chosen to go on this mission. It sure is something to think about. This is where it becomes exciting for us, and we begin to hear the all-familiar sounds of skibbity dop 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 yes yes anthem. I put the tablet down and begin to look off in the distance to where the sound is coming from, and then show the way to my team, who are waiting on my direction. The scene changes, and we see that I am now running into the action, where I use my front bass speaker to launch myself into the air just as my sister Speaker Woman did the same thing in episodes 61 and 66 of the original series. While I'm going in slow motion, I take my knives out from my headphones, and before I land, the scene changes to that of the Skibidi toilet that was likely making all the noise while me and my team were on the hill. He looks a bit different from all the other usual Skibidi toilets, but that doesn't give him an advantage, because I suddenly land on the Skibidi toilet, killing the toilet in the process, and I jump off into the air once again, this time with my knife ready to draw, and it swiftly comes into contact with another Skibidi toilet as I decapitate him, and then I land with a stance as his dead head drops from the sky. In the background, 
we see Gold Speakerman epically killing a Skibidi off with his katana, and we also see Silver Speakerman behind Gold Speakerman getting in on the action, except his action is punching Skibidis in the face with his claws by the looks of it. As I look up to what appears to be a regular small shed or old-fashioned porta potty a Skibidi toilet goes flying against the door and has been pierced by the spear of Longinus, to which I look across and Diamond Speaker woman before me, where she just shrugs like nothing has happened. I told you guys that that spear wasn't one to be messed around with, and now you saw why. Suddenly, the building in the background begins to send out a loud warning signal and turns red, which prompts Diamond Speaker Woman to put her hand on my shoulder, and for a brief moment, we look at one another, as if we were saying, let's do this, before we look back at the building and see a strange orange orb that appears and begins to move down at a gradient as the warning sound continues, which then ends the episode. Wow. What a banger first episode this was. I wonder what could happen in the next episode. Maybe we come face to face with even more Skybidi toilets who are much stronger and could maybe overpower us. Or maybe we will find the Skybidi secret weapon, but we will soon see. Did you enjoy this episode, friends? If you loved it as much as I did, write your answer in the comments, as they are always appreciated. Also, I have a Discord, where you are welcome to join and you will be able to see Skibidi leaks from all series and my own, when I have them, and chat to the amazing community I am building. Thank you for watching my video, I was Obsidian, and until next time my friends.